Hello crafters, this is Gareth from Juice Creations. Welcome to video number two and week number two in my Get Set for Autumn in August series. Thank you for joining me. Today we're going to be using some embroidery hoops. Now I have three of the same size. I'll just give them a quick measure for you. And I'm going by the outside ring at its widest point. And that's just over 17 centimeters. And just under just under seven inches so you can at six and three quarter inches from widest point to widest point but it's a circle so it'll be the same so I'm going to use three of those uh, you're going to need some of this meshy kind of web material I hope that shows quite well up on camera and I'm going to be using some thickish cardboardy chipboard stuff because I'm going to adhere this black um, felt to it. I think what it was called then. So I'm going to adhere this to the cardboard and then I'll be right back with you. Okay, I've backed the, uh, the cardboard with double-sided tape. If you've got that really wide, you know, two and a half inch tape, that would be great. Or um, the the adhesive sheets that uh, Jamie at Punch Place Plus sells. I'll, I'll leave a link for her store below. Um, that would be great because then you haven't got to worry about taking each strip off. You could just put it, you know the sheet on and you just peel off one backing. Or you could use glue at this stage if you wanted to. It's entirely up to you how you adhere your um, your um, felt. But as I don't have any felt that's rigid or backed, I need to back this, this this felt. So I'm going to use what I've got. Now, I'm going to be using these as letters. Um, so you could uh, you could have it because I've got three. You could have boo because this this is a Halloween themed um, kind of room decor item. Um, you could have boo. You could have eek. Um, I mean if you got more you could you know you could do you could do what you what you wish really um, so I'm just going to I'm going to attempt to use a color that will show up on that felt and draw out my letters I'm using a, a yellow just the standard yellow um, pencil and I'm going to write the word boo now I might get all of the letters on this one piece and again I might not also taking into consideration the size of your um, your what you call it your hoop your ring so there you go I've got I managed to fit it on on there they're not too big so they're not going to be overpowering on the size of the ring so if I put that over the B, it's just the nice size. Where if you went too big, it might it wouldn't look it wouldn't necessarily look right. So I'm going to cut these out using my my Tim Holtz scissors. And again, like always, move the the paper or the card rather than you move the scissors. It just works that little bit better. Right, I shall cut out the centers and and rub off the. Uh, and erase the the yellow in a second. I say I could use that as a template, but as I've already as I've already drawn it out, there's no need. But you could definitely do that. You can cut out one O and use that as a template for the second. Okay, let's move this to one side. Let me get my rubber and try and get rid of the the yellow which is coming off very easily you could do it on the reverse if you was able to do that just make sure that you're uh, you're doing it the right way around because um <laughs> you'll end up cutting it out and it'll be backwards so I need to cut out and use my smaller tip hole scissors because I need to cut out Two inner, 
to inner spaces. Now I'm just going to do these freehand. Now if you have large letter dies, then great, use them. I would. <laughs> I'm just going to bend it over, snip it, give myself some room for the scissors and start cutting. And then what I do, because as you can see the, the cardboard coming through, I'll just use a bit of black um, ink to disguise those, to disguise the white bits. And do the same on the O's. This will be another really nice craft to do with your children. You can get them to do their names or other spooky words, or you could get um, some nice Christmas material and, and do a Noel or um, or Joy, anything like that really. I mean, these, these embroidery hoops are really easy to come by. I'm sure you can find them in your thrift store, so it'd be a great upcycle. I bought these new on eBay and they're really cheap. I think I got all three of them for less than three pounds, so it was really cheap. No complaints there. So I'm going to use my my memento ink and an ink dabber, and I'm going to just ink the insides up, just so you don't see. Actually, I think I'm going to use a smaller a smaller dabber so I can get in. That's better. because you don't want that vivid, the white vividness to, to show through. You could also use a black marker. Just get rid of the, the stark whiteness that's showing through. Many people have asked me where I get my, my craft ability from and how long I've been crafting and I've been crafting on and off throughout my life just more so in the past kind of two to three years um, and uh, a lot of that is, is thanks to the community that I'm you know proud to be a part of uh, the YouTube community, the Facebook crafting community, uh, you know there's so many lovely crafters out there that are so supportive and, and, and inspirational you know it, it's it's great but my my dad's always been very good with his hands he's always been able to make things out of wood and and so has my grandfather and i wanted to show you something that my grandfather made and uh this is a frame my grandfather made many 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 moons ago um it, it houses a picture of me as a child but this this is something that i hold very dear uh, my grandfather is no longer no longer with us um, so that's something I hold very dear. He also made me a fort and a garage and I hold those things very very close to my heart You know, and if I ever have children, they'll get you know, they'll get uh, Given to them um, so, and then hopefully their children and so on and so forth But just wanted to show you something that, that has he, like both him and my father are both inspirations to me um, They're very good with their hands in regards to woodwork. I don't do much woodwork um, It's not really my thing um, but I have done. I made a box when I was at in secondary school, um, which I'll, I'm, I may show you in a, in a later video. Um, but they are my, I think, from child seeing how creative they were, kind of inspired me to be creative. So I just wanted to share that with you because it, it means a lot to me and, and you, you all mean so much to me anyway. So, but anyway, back to this project. Just reminiscing for a little while there. So back to the hoops. And all you're going to do is um, get one of your hoops. I didn't even think to see if this is going to fit. Right, as you can see, it's not wide enough to go across. So I'm going to do two rows. I'm going to make this work. I want this to happen, so it's going to work. 
where did I put my scissors? There they are. I don't know if you guys are like me. You put something down and it completely disappears. So I'm going to double. Because obviously one piece isn't going to be enough. So untighten it. Pop out the center piece. lay your material in and when I have the the letters they'll be in they'll be in the center like that so you're not going to necessarily you know see the uh, the overlay the over the overlap put your ring on top do some manipulation so it's nice and nice and taut This meshy webby stuff is great. I am I am looking for it because I desperately want to get it for the store because I think it'd be great for Halloween projects. Or <laughs> hence the reason why I'm doing this. So I'm happy with the way that looks. So I'm going to tighten up the the locky mechanism. And I'm simply going to cut away the excess. Then I'm simply going to glue the letters on top and I'm just going to use our glitter glue because I think that will give it a good um, key because it dries very quick. Now you can, like I said, you can back this with cardstock so it's black so you don't see it but these are going to be hanging on the wall and you're not going to see the back so I'm not too fussed. I mean, if you was making these for gifts, then I'd definitely make sure that you make the back look as attractive as the front. So I'm gonna get, I'm gonna cut away now and do the other two, and I'll be right back. Okay, so that's those all done. Now the only thing I've done is I've used some of my mento, my, my blah, 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 put my false teeth back in. Blah. I've used some of my Memento black ink and I've just um, inked around the edges because I thought against the white and the black, the wood was a bit too bright. So I've kind of taken that back by applying some of the ink. Now I've got these in my stash. These are from Recollections and they're a set of three haunted images. And I wanted to use them on a project. So I was thinking of having them on here somewhere. And have the candlesticks, one on the boo, on the boo, sorry, and then one on the, one on the other O. So it kind of went like that. Now the way that I am going to hang these, I'm going to hang them underneath each other. You'll only see one of the O's because it'll go off screen. So I'm going to use some black, some black ribbon which I have from my stash. I'm going to poke it through the top of the first one, have it run the back of the uh, hoop, tuck it through the, the O, the first of the O's, if I can get it through the gap. Now, if you're wondering what this blue stuff is, it's just a, a, a protector for the metal work. So you can take that off if you wish. And then I'm going to tie it. And then running down the back again. And to the second O. Give it the desired length. tie it off and 
and simply cut it. So they will hang like that. Obviously you can only see part of them. I will then tie the top to fix that in place. Put a loop in leftover ribbon so I can hang it on the wall. And then I will show some pictures of it at the end of this video displayed so you can get a better idea of how it looks from top to bottom. If I can ever get this bow tied or this hoop tied. <laughs> oh. Third time's a charm. Yep, third time was the charm. So there we go. Really simple home decor piece for the upcoming season. Let me put it in the right order. Now, like I said, you could do these as gothic as you like, as simple as you like. Um, you know, the choice is yours, but just, just an idea I wanted to put out there. So thank you very much for joining me. I will see you again on Tuesday with my final guest design piece for Funny Designs. And again next Thursday with a collab with Lisa and she is of LJ Creations. So I'm looking forward to see what she has. Thank you very much for joining me and I will see you again soon. Take care now. Bye bye.